Hello, this is your daily devotion for Friday, November 20th, and the reading comes to us from Luke, the the 11th chapter, beginning with the 8th verse. Jesus said, I assure you that whoever declares publicly that he belongs to me, the Son of Man will do for him the same before the angels of God. But whoever rejects me publicly, the Son of Man will also reject him before the angels of God. A simple, short, straightforward verse that is often misinterpreted, often on social media platforms, to take away security from people's relationship with God. We should not approach our relationship with God superstitiously, but always in full confidence that our faith is active and at work, and that God knows what is inside our heart. Whoever acknowledges Jesus publicly before others He says he will acknowledge um, in the last judgment, at the end of times. Whoever says they belong to him publicly, belongs to him. And whoever rejects him, or as other translations put it, denies him publicly, he will also reject or deny at the final judgment. And sometimes people take this to mean that they must constantly be reaffirming their faith in Jesus to others, so that later on they won't be rejected by him. But deny or reject doesn't mean deny. It means nothing more than deny or reject. In other words, to say publicly, I don't believe in Jesus, I'm not one of his children, that's what he means here. If you do that, he will deny you before others. But if you say, yes, I know him, I love him, he's my savior, he's my Lord, before others, that's good enough. Too many Christians interpret this in such a way that they become nothing but 24-hour-a-day, seven-day-a-week infomercials for Jesus, believing somehow that they are witnessing to him at all these times, when really what they're doing is annoying people. You don't want to do that. If you want people to come to faith in Christ. You don't have to be constantly broadcasting your faith 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In fact, if you do that, you're likely to turn off far more people to Jesus than you are to turn on to him. Be smart, be wise, be a real person. And remember that when it talks about denying or rejecting, it means denying or rejecting not acknowledging at every single opportunity. Be smart and sane about it. You should always be ready to tell people that Jesus is an important part of your life, your Savior and your Lord. But you don't have to beat people over the head with the facts. And in fact, if you do so, you may be leading far more people away than you lead to Christ. And if you are worried that at some point in your past, you have denied Jesus, because at some point in your life, you were either not a believer at all, or you went through a rebellious phase or whatever. Remember that Peter denied Jesus three times in a single night. Do you really think he's in hell? I don't. I don't think you should either. Always be ready to acknowledge Christ. But remember, you probably shouldn't do it at every possible opportunity. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because we are yours and you are ours. And We are grateful that you have chosen us as your people, taken we who were not a people, and made us into the people of God. Help us to always be ready to talk about your role in our life, the effect that your faith has upon us, but also keep us mindful that if we overdo it, we might lead people away from you. So help us to judge rightly when we should speak and when we don't need to speak, and then help us to act on that judgment. We pray today for Jenna, for Tabby, for Ethan and Vance, as they continue to deal with the aftermath of the terrible accident. And we pray that you would surround them and their families with all the love and all the care and bring the kind of healing that comes only from you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you soon.